Good evening and welcome. Thank you for coming out on this evening. We've got a kind of unique and special program for you tonight, as you may have seen in your program. I'll leave the lights up so you can read the translations. Uh, but Choral Students Showcase means that I've got a class of choral conducting students that is 12 strong, and each of them will be conducting a piece, and I'll get to conduct some too. <laughs> so uh, you'll get a chance to see a lot of them, uh, so be encouraging to them. The, the pieces that have the star by the title are pieces that Pam and I uh, have selected to take to Austria in June, where once again, like in 2018, we go to the Salzburg Choral Festival, except this time Pam and I are the musical team. And so those eight pieces are going with us uh, to Austria, and we're going to perform all eight of those here tonight. Some of these people and 12 students are going, and you'll see them when they sing those pieces that are for the Austria Choir. We do have one piece in the concert choir much later on that we're going to ask you not to applaud. You'll know why when you hear it. But the song that follows it kind of follows up and it encourages you with its text after the piece before it. And so without further ado, a little Mary Poppins for all of you. Meshberger. She was going to go to Austria, but she said she had planning for a wedding to do. So I said, okay. <laughs> she got engaged this week. Yeah, go ahead, show it to her.
It was my delight when Dr. Tim Rolls came to me and said, you need a piece for Austria or a concert? And I said, both. So he asked me to select the text. I picked Romans 8.28, my mom's favorite verse. And he set this piece for the uh, Austria choir, but it's going to be sung tonight by the Smoky Oak Chorale. Uh, I got his birth date wrong. It was 1967. So he's a little younger than what it says in there. But it's better than last time when I said 1632, I think. This is. So here is, who shall separate us from the love of Christ?
the 48 singers either come up to join the Austria Choir or go off stage, I want to have you give a round of applause to someone who is leaving the Smoky Hill Corral. She has been in it since before I was here and it was the Hayes Community Choir. Her husband and her are moving to Colorado. Give it up for Linda Moore. Now for these next two pieces we're combining all of the people who are going to Austria, plus a few others who wanted to sing with us. When we get to Austria, there'll be 110 in the choir. So we're looking forward to that uh, in June when we get to sing in the Salzburg Cathedral where Mozart was baptized. So here is a piece, uh, of course it has to be all sacred music uh, for in the cathedral. I even wanted to do a still, 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 the Austrian Christmas carol. They said, no, it's not Christmas. I was going to have them sing along with German, you know. I thought, oh, that would be great. They didn't. Uh, so that's why all the pieces are sacred for our part. And then if you want to hear the rest of the Salzburg concert, it'll be the Mozart Coronation Mass, which we'll do on April 20th at our final concert of the year with the Hayes Symphony Orchestra, uh, who will also perform the magnificent Tchaikovsky Fourth Symphony. So it'll be Mozart Mass and Tchaikovsky on April 20th. Come and hear that. All right. Mackenzie.
Now we're having the Austria Choir joined by the other 10 Forte singers to give us a little bigger sound. Not quite what it'll be with 110. Uh, but this next piece, Song of Triumph, was written by my college choir director three months after his son, my classmate, was killed in a motorcycle accident. And yet he wrote these words from Revelation. I think, I think it's a powerful piece. And we can't wait to get to Austria and do it. By the way, uh, there's no accompaniment other than orchestra in the cathedral, except that last piece. But Pam doesn't get to play it. It's on an organ. One of the seven organs they have in that church. We're not sure which one they play. So give Pam a big round now for all the work she's going to do. two non-Forte singers, Sidney Myers and Katrina Fernholt, who are also going with us, so that's why they were up there singing. And now the Forte singers will stay and do our set. There are four numbers in this group, four in a row, that are conducted by student conductors uh, after I open them up with this first piece. And I'm going to have them four, uh, please applaud for each of them, but I'm going to bring them all four down after the last one and I'll shake their heads then rather than take the time to do that. So you applaud for them and then I'll acknowledge them, all four of them, at the end. So, Fort Hayes Singers. Thank you. 
beautiful soloist, Samantha Vespers.
Now I should tell you, before we change the mood and put on the Ritz, that Mackenzie isn't the only one who's putting on the Ritz. By the way, her beau is Brandon up there. She had to find somebody to join her at that wedding, and she picked Brandon. But <laughs> earlier this week, Abigail Giesling also got engaged. <laughs> so, youngsters, if you want to find love, join the Fort Hayes Center. <laughs> Here's putting on the Ritz. As the concert choir is coming up, uh, part of our student feature is that we have a couple young composers, protégés of Dr. Rolls. Uh, our first piece, Tis Moonlight, uh, is by the talented Garrett Cole, who's also engaged, in case you're wondering. <laughs> he had the good fortune to engage to Becca Anderson on Waikiki Beach in, 19, in 2021 when we were there with the Four Day Singers for the 80th anniversary, yeah. So this first piece was composed by Garrett Cole, and we'll acknowledge him afterwards, and then I'll speak to you about our next two pieces. Here's Tis Moonlight.
our choral theme this year, which we pick one every year, I pick one every year, <laughs> goes like this. I can't explain it, but I'll find a song that can. I hope many of our texts fit that. Uh, Nathan Weiss has a favorite composer, Jake Runstead, and he brought this piece to my attention early in the summer or late last spring and said we should do this, and then I said then you should conduct it. It's a hard piece. It might touch many of you very deeply. It's hard for the kids to sing because it speaks about those who have left us too soon. And so I would ask that after this song is done, don't applaud, but let us go right into My Heart Be Brave, the text of which is kind of cathartic after Please Stay. Here's Nathan Weiss and the concert choir and many soloists representing many people on Please Stay. My happiness is no longer in the hands of someone else. I realize that what people say about me reflects who they are, not who I am. It's okay to be a work in progress. Sharing your feelings doesn't make you weak. Some days are still such a struggle. All I can think about are Gabe, Toby, and Parker. I wish they'd kept living. I 
decided to ask for help instead of going through it alone. It was hard as hell, but I kept living. One person took the time to understand and listen. Sometimes that's all it takes.
power of music, huh? The power of great texts set to great music. But they're not always heavy and sad, as Brandon and the choir will show you. Our next piece was a special request. Where are you, Laura? Laura Andrews is retiring from our music ed department after many wonderful years. I don't even know how many, but it doesn't matter. She's sent so many teachers out there uh, that she heard the men sing what, Flanders Fields or something in the fall. And she said, won't you please do this next piece? And Garrett agreed to conduct it. And I'm going to sing it, but I don't have it memorized, so let me find my music. <laughs> this is for you, Laura.
Now, Mackenzie is the president of NAFMI, which Laura heads up, and she brought Dr. Andrews this favorite saying of ours. Pam made it to her. It says, the heart has this intelligence, and when it is touched, everything is understood. We hope we've touched your hearts tonight. I hope that touched your heart, Laura. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight. We end with a sailor sea shanty. Dance gal, give me the ukulele. Oh, no, banjo. Yeah, banjo. Oh. In case the air conditioning was too cold for you tonight and you're chilly, uh, the kids that are going to Austria are still doing some fundraising and they have blankets, nice stadium blankets. They sold a lot of them during football season. They'll be out in the lobby, all right? They're only three or four hundred dollars, no. <laughs> Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars. So help support those kids who are going to Austria and still need a few bucks to get over there. So here's Dance Gal. Give me the banjo. Thank you, good night.